All right, folks, today I'm showing you how to make the best German fried potatoes on your grill. It's time to grill! Today's video and recipe preparation starts one day earlier. You need to pre-cook potatoes, including the skin, and let them cool down overnight. In Germany, we usually have two kind of potatoes. You can find potatoes that stay more or less stable after cooking. This is exactly what I use today for this video. And the other kind of potato falls apart after cooking and is usually used for soups, stews or mashed potatoes. So this is very important, otherwise your slices or thicker slices will not stay stable after frying. And this is a big, big point if you want to have a successful cook for fried potatoes. So wherever you come from, make sure to get the kind of potato that stays stable after cooking, whatever the exact um, translation for that potato is. So for now, repeat all those steps, peel the potato and slice the potato. Here's the thickness I prefer for my fried potatoes. It's half of my finger size thickness and um, I just keep on going with the rest of the potatoes. The amount of potatoes I use was about two kilo. And of course, as always, you will find the exact amount of each ingredient in the video description. For now, this is the first important step. We have prepared the potatoes. And of course, as always, I have already started a starting chimney full of charcoal briquettes. We put them into the charcoal baskets of my charcoal kettle. We're placing the grill grates over these, close the lid and let the whole grill heat up. In the meantime, we can do the rest of the cutting work. You will need onions. I used about four small till medium sized onions here. And of course, as always, I have speed this up for you. And this is a bigger amount of fried potatoes, but we are also a lot of people at home. So for me, this amount was perfect. Then you will need smoked bacon. For me, smoked bacon works best. And the best bacon is that can be now cut to the size that you prefer. I like to cut pieces like that into two um, slices and then slice them smaller, but not too small. I like bigger pieces of bacon inside my fried potatoes. So this is the size I like, but make sure you can, of course, cut them to the slice that you prefer. Final step of chopping is chopping up some parsley. It adds great flavor and of course it's always good to have something green inside those golden brown dishes. I prefer that. Now heat up your cast iron pan. We are using vegetable oil, sunflower oil for example. It works uh, good because the pan starts to get really hot and the burning and smoking point of other oils are far too low. We don't want a bit of flavor due to burned oil. Here is something that is really funny when it comes to cast iron cooking. The first um, results are not that good, but as soon as the cast iron heats up and gets the best temperature, your potato will get a real good golden brown color inside those cast iron cooking stuff, dishes, pans, pots, whatever. And here's exactly what we're looking for. We want fried potatoes with a golden brown color. A good advice is to have a second grill, for example a gas grill, on low temperature so you can keep the potato slices warm. The other idea could be to use more pans than one. Due to the filming purpose and the idea of making videos for you, I decided to make all the steps um, one behind each other or one after each other. Of course you can use more pans or bigger pans to have more fried potatoes in a pan at once. I need to make about two or three of these pans to get all my potatoes fried. In between I keep adding oil for frying and now everything gets a little bit quicker. My key of good fried potatoes is 
to keep the cooking process of bacon and onions and potatoes separated. If you just would add bacon and onions to a cast iron pan and add the um, uh, potatoes later on, they won't get crispy. For me, the key are crispy golden brown potatoes. And that's why we just start with the potatoes, taking them out again, keeping it warm in the meantime. And then after we have grilled all those potato slices to the color we prefer, you can add bacon. The pan already is hot enough. This goes also very quick. The fat is rendering out right now, which is the perfect moment to add the onions. The onions now soak up the rest of the potato uh, oil and the rendered fat of the bacon. It will now get some great flavors and a nice color. And after, I think about seven or eight minutes, you can mix parsley with onions, bacon and potatoes again. Due to the fact that my pan is a, a bit, little bit small for the amount of potatoes, I do this also in two steps. I take off half of the onions and bacon, add half of the chopped up parsley. Let uh, the parsley can be roasted for several seconds as well. It adds good flavor and then add back half of the potatoes. And here is my perfect way and my beloved way of making fried potatoes. And this is so delicious, I love it. It's a great dish, it's served in Germany a lot. You can buy this in a lot of restaurants, but you now for now you don't have to buy this. You can do this at home, it's pretty easy. Some final pepper seasoning. There is enough salt flavor inside that um, pan due to the bacon. And for me, this is the perfect side dish to many, many grilled meat dishes. So hit that like button, leave me a comment. I would really appreciate your opinion about fried potatoes. What's your key and clue and twist? Let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you guys.